Um, <clears throat> right. Hi, and welcome to uh, the second episode of my uh, video blog series. Uh, I did the last one like a month ago. Um, I was trying to think of some good topics to talk about. Uh, I was also sick. I think it was last week or the week before. And my bike got stolen. So it's hard to find uh, interesting scenery. Uh, today I'm here in my very plain room. And um, I did think of a topic to talk about. Um, if you look up things on YouTube, uh, things can get really complicated, uh, when it comes to lucid dreaming, and it's often times, uh, in the same category as astral projection, or something like that, but, um, this guide is more of a practical guide, um, you know, like, it's kind of, like, if you hate sleeping, and you think it's boring, this is one way to make it more interesting. Um, it's hard to think of where, really, to start with this. Um, I did think of an exercise that I think can help people um, in their uh, later stages of lucid dreaming. I think it's good to start with um, a visual uh, exercise. Um, so what you want to do, here it is, um, maybe I'll make an edit point, I don't know. So, you know, you want to start by, you know, relaxing as much as possible. Uh, usually you want to lay flat on your bed or sort of propped up. Um, if you like to sleep, sort of twist it up, uh, which I like to sleep that way too. You know, like I sleep on my belly and whatnot. Um, try to save that for later when you're done with this lucid dreaming exercise. When you're done with it, uh, then go ahead and sleep whatever way you like. Um, but what I think would help is, okay, so you lay down and you close your eyes and... You try, but don't try that hard. It's more like, well, the idea here is try to see a color. So you, the best way to do this is to basically request a color. Um, you don't have to strain, you know, and I guess you could always try to use a memory to help, like a memory of grass or something. But um, in the, these things, um, well, we're not trying to uh, recall memories in this. You're trying to make something new. Um, so, like, what I would do is I lay there with my eyes closed, and I try to think of a color like green. And you just wait until you start to see that color. So once you have that color, I mean, suppose I suppose you could try some more colors. Uh, to switch between, like go from green to blue or yellow to purple or something. Um, this will help. Uh, this will help when you're actually lucid dreaming, because it gets you used to creating things in your head. Um, so the second step is to take that color and make it into a shape. Uh, you could start with the square, I guess. Um, and then from that point, try to turn the square into a cube. And after that, you could try two cubes of different colors. Um, and maybe I'm moving too fast here. I don't know. I don't know if anybody really has tried these things before. Uh, I remember when I was little, I would be so bored. I hated sleeping. So I would... But I knew it was important, so I'd always go to lay down to sleep. But, um, I don't know uh, how many other people do this kind of stuff when they're bored. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if the in this introduction to make a cube, 
is too advanced or not, but hey, you could just keep trying it. Um, and this is only going to be an introduction because I can fill a lot of videos with this topic. Um, so <clears throat> if you look around YouTube, you'll also see exercises you can do uh, while you're awake. Um, like they say to do reality checks. Um, basically the best way to do a reality check without looking like a weirdo is to just you take a moment and then try to see if you're dreaming or not. And uh, the idea is that if you do this enough, you get into the habit of checking whether or not you're dreaming. So if you are dreaming, uh, then, you know, likely you're going to notice that you're dreaming. Um, usually that will end up waking you up. Uh, but, you know, that's what happens a lot until you get used to until you get used to all this uh it takes a really stable mind uh to you know to lucid dream um i don't want to go too far in this introduction uh because it can get really complicated uh another one that people say you can try is flipping on and off light switches but I don't recommend this. You could wear out your light bulbs doing that crap. Uh, another one is maybe to wear like a string around your wrist and periodically through the day look at the string. Or especially like those uh, like those rubber bands that people have that say like support the troops or whatnot. Uh, get one of those uh, that has as much text as possible on it. So when you're doing your reality check, make sure to read, try to read it three or four times. Uh, usually in a dream, uh, small details like text, or even uh, if you look at a clock's face, is very unstable. Um, so if you're able to read your wristband perfectly fine a few times, then that means you are awake. Um, so maybe, I guess the idea is that eventually you'll try this in your dream and it helps you realize you're dreaming because at that point you can start making decisions. And that goes back to like what I think this exercise can help with is uh, being able to create things in your mind because you might realize you're dreaming and then like nothing really different happens. You just continue to, to roll with the story that's happening or uh, in the past I've tried where I I grabbed like I jumped I was in a city and there was a motorcycle I jumped on it and I just started riding forward and uh, gravity just stopped working the motorcycle started to float and uh, I was reset back to the spot I was standing in the first place so it wasn't that fun. Like, it seemed as if I wasn't able to go to places that the dream wasn't already set in. Like, you can't just randomly go five blocks away or something like that. Um, as time goes on, you learn that you have to do a lot. Like I said, a, you have to have a stable mind because you have to start. It's almost like, I don't know. It's like it's like making a minecraft level or something like things aren't just gonna happen uh just on a whim uh at least for me that's what would happen is something like you know like i'll walk around a corner and there's nothing but like a white room or something and that's no fun like you're just kind of stuck in the same spot like wow i realize i'm dreaming but i can't do nothing but really walk around or punch people in the face or something um so yeah that's why i think the cube exercise can help with this because once you once you really start getting into it you realize you have to hold a lot of things together you got to really be you know you have to write the script you got to draw the backgrounds 
or build the, the set, and you have to do this all at the same time, uh, you know, besides you yourself moving about that world or whatever. Um, but anyways, it's fun. I know it doesn't sound that fun, because, uh, I don't know, I don't seem too th enthusiastic. I'm still, like, a little sick. I don't know. For some reason today, my nose started running and all that. Um, hmm. other than that, it's not too much. Um, uh, my, my friend loaned me this, um, this Mario, um, what do you call it, New Mario Brothers 2, or something like that, for, uh, the 3DS, it's a really ridiculous Mario game, yeah, uh, if y'all remember the commercials from when it came out, it's all about collecting coins, and so they give you a ton of coins, so by the time you hit the second level, you have, like, 20 lives, so... I don't know if the game gets more complicated um, in the later sections. I'm not so sure. Some of those new Mario games are kind of dull. But I'm glad to try it. I have not played it before. Um, other than that, you know, Mario Maker came out. It's really great. I don't have a Wii U yet to play uh, for myself at home. But I've played at friend's house. It's okay, except they kind of messed up the physics, like Mario, uh, even in Mario 1 style, he's very bouncy. He'll bounce off of an enemy's head like five feet in the air, and if y'all remember, Mario 1 was not like that. It was difficult to have uh, multiple bounces, um, you know, to get the better score. So it was a lot more challenging, which I liked. So, I don't know. I thought I thought Mario Maker was going to try to keep the physics um, in line with the original games when you switch the style, but it seemed most of it is, it's all the same physics. Um, yeah. Went on a while. Uh, I... I think of more interesting stuff, I'll try to get the camera out and um, make more episodes. I, I do like doing these. Um, and, you know, maybe I have some family members who wonder what I'm up to and everything. And, you know, they can watch these. It's uh, the whole internet age. Global society.